Diving into the past, staring straight into the cryptic, this is the portal to the enigmatic and the unknown. This is where history's shadows, secrets of the occult, and the interweaving secret plots come to the light. Unravel the secrets lying dormant for ages, waiting to whisper their truths. From ancient civilizations perplexing enigmas to modern-day conspiracies that shake the very foundation of belief, we explore it all. Witness testimonies, expert analyses, and a touch of skepticism. We're not just telling stories, we're seeking answers. Histories, mysteries, and conspiracies, where every mystery is a story, and every story holds a mystery waiting to be solved. Join us. The manas were existing, it is true. Conceptually, the manas were made, and physically, we don't have any proofs for that in present, but it's not mere mythological story imagination. Because one cannot conceptually imagine something entirely even one imagines. One must be able to produce something and understand some principle in some way, like why something flies. Sad Guru. These ancient crafts are depicted carrying from one to armies of humans. They were said to be armed with projectiles which disabled and or annihilated cities. But what kind of power could propel these machines said to have been created by the gods? In Abydos, Egypt at the temple of Seti Prewan, an intriguing carving dating back to the reign of Seti Brant around 1294 to 1279 BC, depicts what appear to be aerial aircraft. Egyptologists suggest this carving is a palimpsest relief, indicating that two inscriptions overlap, supposedly revealing the titles of Rameses Esku, superimposed over those of his predecessor, Seti Kwurnt. The Saqqara Bird, a model found in an Egyptian tomb that some argue represents an ancient attempt at flight, this could be tied into the Abydos carving, reinforcing the idea that ancient cultures may have conceptualized flight similarly. Some theorists liken the pyramid's potential function to that of Nikola Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower, which was designed to transmit wireless energy. They suggest that the pyramid could have acted as a wireless power transmitter, generating energy that could be transmitted over large distances through the air. The pyramid's pointed top, capstone, possibly once covered with a conductive metal, like gold, could have acted like an antenna, allowing the transmission of energy in the form of electromagnetic waves. This theory posits that the Egyptians might have been able to harness wireless energy to power devices, or even transport it over long distances, perhaps via obelisks or other structures acting as receivers. Interestingly, these theories exist within the Indus Valley architecture as well. The tall spires known as Gopurams in South Indian temples are sometimes theorized to be antenna-like structures designed to interact with the ionosphere or electromagnetic fields. There is speculation that these spires could collect and channel atmospheric energy, similar to how the pyramid's capstones are thought to have worked in the pyramid power theory. These gopurams are sometimes covered in metallic elements, which could, theoretically, serve as conductors for electrical energy. India's ancient past has captivated many, including scholars from Germany, China, and beyond. The vast knowledge contained in ancient Indian manuscripts is profound, with millions of unread documents held in various religious and sectarian repositories. These texts may hold the keys to reviving India's historical glory, and Vimanas represent just one aspect of this rich legacy. India has made significant contributions to global mathematics, with roots extending as far back as 1200 BC. Notable mathematicians such as Aryabhata, Brahmagupta, and Bhaskara flourished between 400 to 1200 AD. Concepts such as zero, the decimal system, negative numbers, arithmetic, algebra, and trigonometric functions like sine and cosine all emerge from ancient Indian thought. By the Vedic period, large numbers, ranging from 100 to a trillion, were already in use, 
showcasing a sophisticated understanding of geometry and mathematical principles, including the Pythagorean theorem. Descriptions of Vimana suggest they utilized various driving forces and materials, including mercury, xenon, argon, krypton, and hydrogen, as well as advanced propulsion systems like ion, plasma, and hall thrusters. Many Vimanas reportedly employed mercury engines, where propellants were created by capturing liquid air from the environment and heating it with mercury in an expansion chamber. This process produced superheated plasma air suitable for flight. Texts indicate that Vimanas were powered by jet engines. Their flight behavior allegedly caused elephants to panic and grass to be thrown away due to the pressure generated from behind these craft. The Vimanaka Shastra details the metals used in these vehicles and mentions electricity, power sources, pilots, and even their clothing and food, drawing intriguing parallels to modern flight manuals. The text suggests that the flight systems involved gyroscopes placed within a sealed liquid mercury vortex, with one description detailing mercury rotating to drive a powerful propeller or fan. Dr. Ruth Reyna, who studied these ancient documents, claimed they contained directions for building interstellar spacecraft, proposing a method of propulsion akin to lagima, an ancient concept enabling levitation through centrifugal force strong enough to counteract gravity. While many modern Indians initially dismissed these texts, interest surged when China announced its study of this ancient knowledge for its space program. The Ramayana includes a detailed account of a journey to the moon in a Vimana, complete with descriptions of a battle involving an Asvin, Atlantean airship. NASA's Space Electric Propulsion Test, CERT program, explored the potential of mercury, aiming to transform it into a usable fuel. Using mercury as a primary component could enhance propulsion capabilities compared to current substances like xenon or krypton, utilized in ion engines today. However, mercury's toxicity and potential environmental impact pose significant challenges. Interestingly, some aircraft engines developed by NASA also incorporate mercury bombardment units powered by solar cells. This parallel raises questions about the lost knowledge of ancient Indian technology and its possible implications for modern aerospace endeavors. The exploration of Vimanas and their purported technology prompts a reflection on the possibility of reclaiming ancient Indian wisdom. As Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi pushes for the indigenization of defense production, there is hope that India may once again ascend to its former status as a leader in science and technology. Could these ancient crafts have utilized mercury or ether to propel their machines? The quest for answers continues as the world remains eager to uncover the mysteries of India's illustrious past. Bravo. For more content like this, like, share, and subscribe.